Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're here in Washington DC, the nation's capital. And today what we have for you are the don'ts for tourists when they come here to DC. And the one don't that every single person that lives and works in DC wants every single tourist to know is don't stand on the left when you're going on the metro escalators. Look, it's stand right walk left because I know you're a tourist and I'm a tourist and we want to see these things and enjoy stuff and look around but everybody else they've got to be going to work or coming back from work and all kinds of stuff so just do me a favor don't stand on the left okay make sure you stand on the right walk on the left okay now some other don'ts I have for the metro is don't be afraid to take the metro when you are here in DC it is pretty clean I mean I know the locals will say it's not but compared to other metros I've been on around the world it's actually pretty clean it goes a lot of places you want to go and it's super simple to use okay so don't be afraid to use it but also don't expect it to go late night okay so make sure you know when your last train is going wherever you're gonna be whether it's your hotel or the restaurant or the bar you're gonna go to so you have an idea for that also don't eat on the metro. You're not supposed to do that, okay? So don't eat on the metro. And you'll notice that maybe don't talk so loudly on the metro because when people are going to work, it's actually kind of chill on the metro. So just a heads up for that one. Now, another don't I have for you as a tourist is one, don't drive or try to take the metro or anything during the peak rush hour times because it is insanely packed, okay? So in the morning before like 9, 9.30, don't bother driving, don't bother taking the metro. The Smithsonian's don't open until 10 anyway. Let everybody else get to work and then take things because then it's actually kind of calm, okay? But aside from that, like during the rush hour times, it's like hell on wheels here, okay? Another thing when you are driving, don't you'll notice with the traffic sometimes it stops so it gets stuck in the crossways of the streets don't block the box when you're there okay you don't want to do that because that can cause some problems and when you're walking around one of the things you need to realize is it's not just tourists that are here i mean there's tons of tourists yes but the locals are going to work they're doing things and what will happen is tourists will stop in the middle of the sidewalk to take a picture because there's tons of monuments there's tons of museums tons of cool stuff to take a picture of here in dc but don't stop in the middle of the sidewalk step to the side and then take your picture because otherwise you're going to stop in front of a local and that kind of upsets them so just have a heads up for that one another don't for while you're in the district is don't just stare at your phone i think i've walked into like 15 people in the last like 100 yards because i don't know maybe there's a pokemon catching thing going on but whatever it is people are walking into each other like mad so look up from your phone don't just stare at a screen another safety thing is if you're driving here and you have your own car or a rental don't leave anything in your car i mean that's kind of just common sense right but just wanted to remind you of it okay those are just two that i wanted to mention we'll go back to mark now now another don't i have for you has to do with the hotels when you do come here don't necessarily trust all the propaganda that tourist hotels give you because one thing you'll see is some will say oh we're a 10 minute walk from the mall or we're we're only 15 minutes from the white house uh-huh and that's like somehow like in the movies where people can go from one side of the city to the other between a commercial break look don't count on that look on the maps because you are going to be doing a lot of walking when you are here and there's just a lot of walking a lot of stuff to do so don't necessarily trust that the the, the hotel's distance kind of thing also don't forget to bring really good walking shoes when you're here because you're gonna be walking up and down the mall seeing all these things walking through all these Smithsonian museums and stuff like that your feet are gonna start to hurt so make sure you don't forget some good walking shoes and when you're walking around don't mess with the heat and humidity I mean DC gets very hot and very humid in the summer I mean June July August man it is not an enjoyable time to be here outside of that it's great but if you're gonna be coming in the peak times when people have vacation times make Make sure you're filling up on water and yes there are water fountains around the the national mall you know but you can get bottled water fill up a water bottle before you go out stay hydrated because it can be dangerous and with that make sure you have your sunblock you know don't forget the sunblock and some bug spray because the bugs are out here and they will bite you poor Jocelyn's getting bitten up while she's filming this video for me so do be careful with that so when dealing with the metro don't call it the subway call it the metro but when you have your ticket your little card don't throw that away and don't put it away where it's tough to find because you need that to, to tick it in. You're going to pass in, but also to get out of the metro. So have a heads up for that one. Another thing I'd say is we're here on the National Mall. And the thing is you have what people say is the Smithsonian 
look, don't say, don't say you're going to the Smithsonian. The thing is, the Smithsonian is a collection of museums and the National Zoo. There's like 21 places you can go. So when you say you're going to the Smithsonian, it's like going to like a city, okay? So say, ah, oh, we're going to air and space, or we're going to American history, or we're going to natural history. Say that, and then people know where you're gonna go, because there's more than just one Smithsonian Museum when you're here. Another thing I wanna say about the mall is, don't forget to come back at night, okay? When it's evening time and the sun's gone down, when they light up the monuments, oh man, it is just gorgeous to walk around and take it in. The Korean Memorial, Lincoln Memorial, Washington Memorial. I mean, it's just really, the Washington Monument, I should say. It's really kind of cool to take in, so don't be like, oh, I don't want to go out at night. No, you can come down here and see these things in the evening, in the in the in in dusk and dark when it's lit up, and it is really beautiful. Now, the thing is, is these Smithsonian Museums, there's a cool don't with them, is don't worry about pain. The Smithsonian Museums are free, which is really cool, so definitely take advantage of that. But also, if you want to go to one of the more popular ones, you know, you might can go online and sign up to get actually a convenience ticket. You pay like a small convenience fee of like a buck or two to actually get a ticket to get in some of the more popular museums, okay? So that can really be kind of a, a good thing as well. And if you look at some of the other don'ts, if you're going to be coming here, they have what's called eighth grade bus tour season, okay? That's when the eighth grade classes from around the U.S. come for their history vacation, their history tour with their classes here in D.C. And that's usually from mid-March through the beginning of June. So just know you could get stuck behind a bunch of eighth graders going to every single museum and trying to go to a restaurant, stuff like that, and it can be a bit frustrating. So if you can come outside of the eighth grade season, do it. If not, well, don't be surprised if you got a few lines. So you don't have to trust me on some of these. I've actually brought in a local, Ra from Trip Hacks DC, probably the best channel for any anybody coming to DC. Check him out. He's got great videos from everything from using the Metro, the museums, all kinds of great stuff. And he has some don'ts as well. So you don't have to trust me, you can trust a local, okay? So Rob, what are some of your like what are like your three or four don'ts you want to tell people before they come here? So the first one is don't stand on the left side of a metro escalator. I don't know if Mark already <laughs> told you about that one, but just don't do it. If you're gonna ride metro, the rule is that when you're riding on an escalator, you walk on the left and you stand on the right. There is pretty much nothing that infuriates locals more than tourists who come to town and they haven't done their homework and they stand on the left side of an escalator. See, now I told you. because I told you're watching you. Walter's World and maybe you'll watch Trip Hacks DC, you won't have any trouble with this one. Yeah, so what's another one? Another one is don't forget that there are museums that are not located on the National Mall. A few of my favorites are the National Postal Museum, which is actually located near the Capitol and Union Station. And that's a museum that goes through the history of the U.S. Postal Service, which I know can sound a little dull, but I think it's actually really interesting. And if you're a stamp collector, they have one of the largest stamp collections, so it's really, that's cool. really cool. Another one is the Portrait Gallery, which is located near the Capital One Arena, where there's basketball and hockey and concerts. And that is a museum of portraits. So if you're an art lover, then that is a really cool place to go. If you're interested in history through the lens of portraits, then that's a really cool place that you can go and check out. So there's one don't I really wanted to talk about that I thought was the best one that really helped us with our visit here. So when you do come to the National Mall and you go to the museums here, like the Natural History Museum or Air and Space, there's actually a second set of doors that a lot of people don't know about. So on the National Mall side, which are the doors that face the grassy area that we call the National Mall, or is of course a set of doors you can go in. But on the other side, either Independence Avenue or Constitution Avenue, depending on which museum you're going to, is another set of doors. And those often have shorter lines because honestly, people just don't know that they're there. And that's when we actually did. That was awesome. We cut out so much time because when we came out, we saw the line on the other side and we're like, thank you, Rob, you're the man. And when <laughs> so you, it was really cool. And when you do come, you're gonna have to go through a metal detector, have them search through your bag. So it actually does take quite a while to get into some of these museums. So yeah. having a shorter line can make a big difference. Cool. Well, thanks, Rob. Thank and you. You want to check him out, triphacksdc.com. He's also on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all over the place. Do check him out. He actually does tours, really cool tours, like trivia tours and monument tours and all kinds of cool stuff. But we'll get back to our don'ts, but I want to say thanks to Rob because awesome dude. Thanks, Mark. No problem. So some other tips when you're here on the National Mall. One thing is, is realize that these museums, they're all free, like we said. But the thing is, don't try to do all the Smithsonian museums because museum burnout is a really big thing when you do come here. Because you think, oh, it's all free, I have to see everything. Look, if you're doing more than two Smithsonians a day, you're probably gonna get a bit burned out. So just have a heads up for that one. Another thing, if you're going to the monuments, okay, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, the, the Korean War Memorial, the World War II Memorial, Lincoln Memorial, these kind of things, 
don't be disrespectful when you are there. Show respect for those soldiers that have fallen and the people that came back and honor them. And the thing is, is we've seen a lot of the tour groups going through that have been a bit, you know, the, the, the I gotta gram this kind of thing in an inappropriate way. We have an honor flight when we were at the Korean War Memorial yesterday. It was a very moving thing. And people are trying to get their selfies, you know, stuff like this. I'm like, the dude was in the war and you're doing a selfie thing with him? So just try to have some respect when you are there. And though I don't want you to get the museum burnout, I am gonna say this. Don't sleep in when you're here. If you want to beat the crowds, get there early in the morning to be some of the first people in so you can beat the longer lines. Or look and see when they have the extended hours, like till 7.30 or midnight or late at night kind of stuff at some of the museums in the summer. And you can use that because the thing is a lot of tourists don't realize they have the late hours and you can use that to your advantage. A couple more don'ts I have for you. One, don't think this is going to be a cheap visit, okay? I know that the museums and the Smithsonian's are free, but when you're going to be staying here, eating out, man, that is not cheap to eat out here. The hotels, they're not cheap here because a lot of people coming here, they're on vacation, so they're willing to spend more, or they're here for work, so work is comping these kind of things. So you do have that, so don't expect it to be a cheap visit. Also, if you're going to be coming here and you want to eat out at night, and there's lots and lots of great restaurants that are here, and you can eat really, really well here, don't forget to make reservations for the restaurants. You may think the reservations aren't needed. Oh, that's a big restaurant, it'll be no problem. Believe me, with all the tourists that come here in the evening time, you do need to make reservations, okay? So don't forget to do that. Otherwise, don't expect to eat any of the fancy restaurants. You might be hitting a, a Five Guys, which isn't too bad, or a Jimmy John's or a Subway or something like that. So don't forget those reservations. And my last don't from here on the mall, we have a few more to give you though. My last don't for here on the mall is don't be afraid to take a bus tour around the city because DC is huge and to see all the stuff, you wanna to go to the Jefferson Memorial and you wanna see the National Mall and you wanna see some of the other stuff and get out Alexandria, you're probably going to need to do a bus tour when you are here because I don't recommend driving around, just take the metro or just take a bus tour because they make it easy. You can get some good history stuff and get the free transport around town. So we'll finish this off outside of the beautiful DC area into Mount Vernon. And lastly, don't just stay in the district. There's so much to see outside of just DC. We're here at George Washington's Mount Vernon. There's Monticello, um, Jefferson's home, that's maybe an hour and a half, two hours away from the city. There's so much more to see. There's Colonial Williamsburg that's just a few hours. There's Bush Gardens. I mean, make this a really well-rounded trip. Don't just stay in the district. Get out there and see as much as you can. So bye, thanks for watching. We hope that you enjoy your visit to the DC area. It is fantastic. If you wanna learn more, we've got the don'ts of visiting the US, things that shock people about visiting the US, different food things about the here in the US, but also where else? Europe, South America, Asia. bits and pieces of Asia. We've yep. got a lot of stuff out there. So check us out on all our social media channels. We're on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all those things. And Walter's we're really, World. Yeah, and waltersworld.com. And we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions. If you do click that subscribe button, you get a new video at least every Wednesday and Saturday. So uh, anything else you want to say? No, but thanks. This has been a really great trip, and I hope you enjoy it too. Yep. Bye from DC. Bye.